Here's a quote from Kyle Kuzma last night. I want you to hear it. I want you to- uh, yeah, it matters because it means that, um, you know, us as um, that person, that person, um, the teammates, you know, we did our job. But, uh, you know, the NBA uh, MVP is a, it's a very political award. Um, so, you know, Bronx has been MVP at least eight, eight, nine, ten times. You know, everybody knows that. So, uh, you know, I should have more than four, I believe. Um, but um, I don't, and I don't sit around thinking about it or crying about it, whatever the case may be. Um, I just try to come in the next season and be the MVP and be talked about again. Um, I bet, you know, a lot of the greatest that played this game feel like they should have had more as well. Um, if you ask any one of those guys, um, you know, so this is another opportunity, you know, for me, um, you know, to be able to be recognized as the best player, you know, for that particular season, um, you know, and, and in this season. So hopefully I can continue just to play great basketball and, uh, and see what happens at the end. Couple All of right. things. Eight. The NBA MVP is a, is a very political award, so let's get to campaigning. Two, I don't think about it, but I should have more than four. Sure. Um, right, but, but, but I don't think about it. I'm sure he's not crying about it. We didn't think about right. it. Uh, three, he's probably right. Okay, he's probably right. He, I think he, has a, he certainly has a case for more than four. He's not alone in that, and I'm glad he said that. Like, you know, same can be said about Jordan. Same can be said about Shaq. Hell, Kobe only got one, right? Um, Aaron Rodgers just said something to this effect before he just got his third MVP that he that's felt right. like he should have more. One of his best years. So it's not. It's not. It's not. A, that's not a hot take. That's not a hot take. It's not an uncommon take. Here's my issue with it, man. Let's hear. Like. It's a couple of things. I have, I have a couple of issues with, with the take. It's like, say, Brad, it's like you, you've you been recognized. Michael, you said it yesterday. He's been the best player in the league for 15 years. He's still the best player in the league. And no, that might not, there may not be a physical trophy given out every year for best player in the league. But this is what I love about the basketball, the NBA conversation, because there's a lot of nuance to NBA conversations, and that's where the real mm-hmm. energy comes from, is a nuance with NBA conversations. Everybody knows that the MVP ain't always the best player. Hell, it's why so many people are advocating to not have the MVP, MVP be a regular season award. There's Every year, is, it's like clockwork. There's a conversation about pushing, adjusting the calendar to give MVP out after the postseason. It happened, wait for it, just last year. People, exactly, it is. But people try to discredit Giannis Antetokounmpo's historically great season because they flamed out the playoffs again. LeBron and them won a championship. It's like, this is why MVP should not be a regular season award because it doesn't always go to the best player. So we know this. There's the trophy and then there's the crown. So, yeah. The yeah, king we'll, we'll has been wearing the crown. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll ignore 82 games for in exchange for seven or 14. It's so ridiculous. Correct. But, but, I'm, but, yeah, but I'm saying there's the, the, crown, there's the right, trophy, but, there's the trophy, yep. and there's, there's the trophy, and there's the crown. The king has the crown. And, it, and, and it's it, without challenge. Most people don't challenge his crown. Most people don't come for his throne as the best player in the league in year 18. And I get that he's super competitive. And it's not my legacy. Hell, I can't relate, Michael. I ain't never won Jack. Okay? So I don't, I don't know That's what it's lie. like to, com- to, to compete. That's a lie. No, it's not. No, it's not. But I, I'm, ha- I'm, I'm satisfied being underrated. I, just, I'm just, I'm just, I find solace in the fact that I'm just underrated. That's okay. Point being, um, I, I, don't, I, can't, I don't live in that rarefied air of four and five, like LeBron is chasing history. So I get that he would like more hardware. But the hard fact of the matter is, he's still considered the best player. And and, and the second thing that, that irks me a, a, a little bit, again, he's entitled to feel this way, and I get it, but it, just as an outside, it irks me. Bro, you ain't entitled to MVP every year. You ain't entitled to most valuable player every single season. Because that, that would suggest, because what it does is it disrespects and discredit 
what the actual MVP did that year. It discredits it. It, it suggests that it's somehow fraudulent. It suggests that well, the year you didn't get it, you were robbed as if that person didn't have a, a, as good a case as you did. Well, maybe you know, it is case. possible for in the regular season for somebody to have as good or better a regular season than LeBron James. That is possible. Sure. It's possible. Sure. It could be but it's it's political, possible. but it could it's also be possible that somebody actually earned it. OK, it could be possible. But it's also it also could go back to what Kyle Kuzma said that it, it does become a storyline award at times. Hey, LeBron won it last year. He's won the last always. Two. We got to go somewhere else always. And, and and you're not saying that person is not a great player. You're saying my, my season was better. And we, we I guess we'd have to go back and look at some of the seasons in question. If he if he were willing to do this. OK, give me an example. What year should you have won it last year? OK, last year, it's a tough case to make because Giannis, as you said, had a great season. Was your season great? Yes. Maybe Giannis's season was better. Any other examples? We'd have to go back and look and see if it, it, it passes. Other people can no, be deserving, let, too. Let's face it, though. Let's face it's like, it. It's like the Academy Award. Doesn't mean your movie All wasn't right. great because you didn't win the Oscar. Come on. I'm going to tell you right now. I, I'm, a, I'm just going to point out just one of the uh, tiny quirks. Okay, let's call it a quirk of the MVP race. Giannis last year averaged 29 points a game. 29-7, almost 30. This year he's averaging 29. Last year he averaged five assists. This year he's a six. Uh, last year uh, he, he gave you 13 rebounds. This year he's at 12. He's not going to win the MVP this year. Storyline, that, 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 that's not in the script. I guarantee you. That's not in the script. I'll tell you why. But, he already won okay, two in a row. So. That makes him that makes him less likely to win because he already won two in a row. And they had the best okay. record in the East last year. Right now, well, thank you. they're not trending toward having the best record in the East. So even though his numbers are very similar to last year, there are some forces operating but, against but, him. But it's but it's and, well, and, see, there you go. No, and, no, okay, that's, no, that's no. not fair. Okay, and what? Said, and what? Okay, I, there you go. And what? I'll, I'm going to tell the whole story. Now, that's what I just said is part of the story. And Jokic part of it. and Embiid. And Jokic thank and you. Embiid are Kim, thank you. That's the beginning of the story. That's the lead of the story. But it's the lead of the story of is, you know what? There Everything are other great players in this league. In our league. Uh, okay, right. There are other great players in our league. Okay. But then there are other. <laughs> can, yeah. I, can I call it? Can I call our it our league? league? Can I, can I call our it? Our league. Can I say that? I don't know if I I'm got allowed it. to say that. But I mean, part, yeah, sure. Yeah, you it. know, like there are other great players. It's, it's, it suggests that they are somehow not deserving. It is not an indictment of LeBron James if somebody else gets the award. It's not an indictment of the process if LeBron doesn't get it. Listen, if there's the, there's the if there are multiple conversations. Who's the MVP? Who's the best player? Who's the player around whom you would want to build a team? That's an award, an unofficial award in and of itself. Right. And so it's like it doesn't mean like LeBron, you weren't great, but somebody else was great too. Otherwise, it would have just been Michael Jordan's award every year, or Shaq's award every year, or LeBron James' award every year. And that would be not only boring, it would be unfair. Because there have been seasons when LeBron has coasted for stretches. There have been seasons where he hasn't been consistently great throughout. I, this, What he's saying now coincides with what's interesting. It was just the other day we were talking about concern over whether or not Anthony Davis's prolonged absence would cost them in the standings, if not the playoffs. And LeBron's taking that personally. I took that personally. And so LeBron's <laughs> right. on one right now, you know, these last couple of games, uh, last few games, this last stretch. The other thing is, Michael, he also, not that he needs it, he also benefits from that narrative from time to time. Because the narrative coming into this season was that an injustice was going to be corrected the favorite coming into the season, maybe there were two. The popular new guy to get the award, because here's the other part of the narrative, is like we got to get somebody different. Not just we can't yeah. get to the same person all over. That's yeah, my boy. Luka, Luka. Doncic. It was like, he's going he's gonna to break through and win it this year. But the other one was LeBron coming off the playoffs, reestablishing himself as the true MVP. Coming into this year, there was going to be a lifetime achievement type thing 
Not to mention he was going to put up his usual numbers, but it was going to be a, he was going to get it. He was a, 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 one of the favorites this year, and he's still in the mix this year. But if it goes to Jokic or Embiid or Damian Lillard even, or Tom Abastro's boy, Jimmy Butler, if it goes to somebody else, it doesn't mean that like it's highway robbery or somebody got it out for LeBron or we just hate LeBron. No, it ain't personal. It's political, but it ain't personal. So, and, and well, at, at sometimes, least, uh, you know, sometimes it is personal. Sometimes it is. Sometimes and, it's uh, personal. Here and there with MVP voters. MVP awards. What a few voters may, may have LeBron sports. fatigue or Jordan fatigue or, or, or yeah. Peyton Manning fatigue or Aaron Rodgers fatigue. Sure, I guess. But you got four of them. By the way, know? like it ain't like you like under the radar. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.